We're not late. <laughs> Under five minutes is not late. Wait, someone just said we're late. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was being the person oh. who said that so that no one else had to say it. <laughs> oh. We're just pulling pulling some last minute things together. We are working from our fiber fairy fiber, mainly, most of you are probably, but we are going to make a supply pack. So what we do today, I'm going to work from the supply pack, which really is what you got <laughs> for the fiber fairy. So um, that's what we were doing was pulling together a supply pack. So I hope everybody is uh, feeling good, having a, having a good day wherever you are. I saw um, France and Germany and Trisha's in Vancouver. I see Yasmin. And oh, yeah, Germany. I mean, the people who live nearby are important too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just not as exotic, or maybe you are. Trisha, it is warm here. It is sunny, mm. a lovely spring day. It's beautiful out. I think it's gonna stick. I think it's gonna stay. I hope so. Yeah. Prefer no more snow. Ooh, Norway. Ooh, hello. Ooh, Silver Spring, Maryland. Ooh, Just trying yay. to bring the excitement <laughs> to, to the fellow Marylander. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because, um, like I said, we're going to work on this um, tutorial. and But we can chat, too. So we're just going to have a good time. And I'm going to use... The supply pack we intend to make four. Are you good? Okay. And we can switch to oh, overhead. Yeah. Would you like your face in the corner? I would like my face in the corner. Because sometimes I like to look at you, see what you're doing. And each of the Mises will use one and a half 22 gauge wires and half of a chenille stem. Should they be white? White's I good. Sure. White's good. And um, Kyla is going to make a mouse as well. And I modeled these off of a species called the Oldfield mice, if you want to look them up. They're super cute. Can you toss me two wires? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you your wires. So I'm gonna cut one 22 gauge wire in half. Sometimes oh, nice. I use my scissors, I'm using my pliers. Thank so you, you get one of those. And then we each get a whole one. You're welcome. And then we each get half of a pipe cleaner. So that's what you need. Half a 22 gauge, a whole 22 gauge, and half of a pipe cleaner. They will not clean your house for you. The mice? <laughs> they will. Just be really, really nice to them and sing. If you sing, they'll do anything. The 22 gauge wires come pre-cut at 18 inches? Right, they're 18 inches, yeah. This is what the armature looks like. Very simple, a lot like the basket bunnies. I do a little bit of wrapping before I bend. So... Okay, first thing we need is the alabaster. This is my alabaster and Serafina white. And I'm going to give you, I'm just going to give you half. Okay. But get yourself um, like a about a four inch strip and then peel away a thin strip of that. So you have about a quarter inch by four inch strip. Okay. 
And we're gonna start by making the nose. So fold your smaller wire in half and find the center. And then just open it up like a mountain. People are digging your haircut. Oh, thank you. And saying you look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are my date. <laughs> So, so I try a little extra, although I do need a tissue and I'm <laughs> very aware of it. <laughs> and I do this on dates as well. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. More time for you to fold your wire. I want to wrap the bend. So I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna start on the right side, but if you're right-handed, I imagine you would start to the left of the, of the mountain peak. So I'm just gonna go back a tiny bit, a little half an inch, and wrap tightly because we want this just to be a tight little nub. This wire is not swaxed. Or tacky wrapped. Right. Correct. We're just using the cloth. And then after you go from one side around the corner to the other, you can close it and just wrap the whole thing. Um, one, two, three times, three thin times. So I used about half of that piece of fiber. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit on this little. All right, we still ended up, wait. I'm wiggling this, don't be mad. Wiggle, wiggle away. Okay. How'd yeah, you do? I mean, it's probably bigger than it needs That's to be. That's okay, but... it's like, yeah, it's like a, like a Q-tip. Just give that a few stabs. Mine's like a double stuff Q tip. <laughs> I've got my laptop, my papers, my wool, my tools, my Mises, my coffee. So rotate my papers. Okay. We want to open the head up into kind of like a kind of like a diamond shape. And the diamond shape we want to be one and a quarter to one and a half inches long. So work your wires into that. into that kind of shape. And then let them cross. And then at the neck, you just give one twist. Just make sure it's a really tight one. Oh, I might've gone on the small side. Yeah, I'm at one and a quarter. What did you do? No, I wrapped way too much, so there's already an issue. So I'm working one it twist. Out. I'm working it out over here. <laughs> I might actually back it up a little. I don't know if I can now. So let me put this in a different way. I'll tell you what my remaining wire length is. The remaining wire length is three inches. What's new here? Trish wants to know what's new here. Oh my gosh. What's not new? <laughs> Just going right for the right for the kill. <laughs> Tell us what's happening. Maybe not. Um I think things are secret right now. I'm already I'm doing like mouse nose surgery. <laughs> No, Already. no, we're no, not no surgery yet. We're just making the armature. You got to keep an eye on the comments too. I, I, this is probably Audrey can Audrey can help. Yeah, I was thinking I probably <laughs> just do that. We're 
going to see that I'm not doing it. So <laughs> someone's excited. There's no tiny toes. Yes. Okay, find the center of your second wire. I'm very excited about no tiny toes. We need a no tiny toes dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in your fingers. The dance is all in your fingers. Can you give me another 22 gauge wire? What happened? It's not salvageable. I wrap too much, so I can't get enough out of it. I mean, I guess I could just un... I'm not joking about the surgery. It's a whole thing. <laughs> like, what went so wrong so quickly? <laughs> Don't use too much fiber. <laughs> My strong suggestion. <sighs> this is why you should watch first, except <laughs> we're live. I wrapped like an inch, so then when it was wrapped so far, you couldn't make the diamond head oh, because I was oh, wrapped too just far. Just a little bit, yeah, okay. just a little nubbin. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I'm gonna make the rest of the armature. So you put the the two mountain tops together, and you twist together on each side. We do this on all of our armatures, so this is a great one um, just to get started. And I want to twist these two wires together. I wrote one time in my notes because I didn't want to eat up the wire, but two times really secures secures it well. So I'm going to try one. Well, that was like one and a half. I think because I put this on top this time. I did one and a half. And normally I would... Um, rotate internally. I don't know what just happened. You rotated out? I rotated out. Maybe it's um, backwards day. I could just turn it over. There we go. I rotated internally. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> because when you turn them internally, you end up with your arm coming out the bottom and your back wires coming around off the top. And that's what you, that's what you want. So now my remaining leg length is two and a half inches. <laughs> Somebody wants a suggestion for a first time tutorial. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I love goldfish. I love hedgies. Bunny puffs. Bunny puffs? Although the fur... Bunny puffs are kind of like your second level one okay. tutorial. Um... All the baby, all the sleepy babies. <laughs> if you do the sleepy mice, watch the felt along because I changed some things in the felt along that I think work a little bit better or give you a little more success if it's your first time. Um, okay, and then we want to make bring the two back wires together. It doesn't matter which direction you twist your wires, but twist gently. And from the arm to the end of the twist, we want that to be two and three quarter inches. So this, I've been, the easiest way to measure is to go from where the arm wire comes out to the end of the twist. So two and three quarters, I'm almost there. It's a little, it's a little critter. Those are very big, long back legs. <laughs> Am I back? Yeah, all right, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to change our background a little bit. Our background cabinet. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, okay. We'll figure that out. Okay, so on the front legs, we want to elbow at three quarters of an inch. So that's just a backwards 
a backwards bend, a bend going back like our elbow does. Do you see what I'm doing here? Using a ruler <laughs> and then I bent them the wrong way? No, you bent them the okay. right way. I'm spatially challenged. So my hind legs, our remaining length is about five and a half inches right now. And we're gonna cut them Ooh. to three and a half inches. So if you hold your ruler up and then just bend it to mark where to cut it, that's a good way to... Three and a half? Mm-hmm. problem with the pliers is they sometimes don't get through the, the wire the fabric yeah or sorry the yeah it's what aggressive the oh scissors yeah they need to fly and then <laughs> What? Yes, Tyla, most non-Sarah humans need rulers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to those of you out there who need a ruler, I feel you. Make, bend the hock at two inches. This is the easier way to do this. Bend the hock backwards like the elbow at two inches and then give his little thigh a nice curve. We cut originally the, after we made the body, the remaining length of the hind legs was five and a half inches and we cut them to three and a half. Was that the question? Yes, yeah, somebody, well, that yeah. was literally the question, just three and a half? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Long cooked food. beans. There's some food. There's <laughs> I some just food looked up and saw long cooked beans. Yeah, there's like a completely separate conversation. <laughs> Trisha was wondering what people were eating. Oh, mm. <laughs> me too. Cantaloupe, waffles, barley, or something. <laughs> I had a um, sunflower bread oh. this morning, toasted yeah. with like this awesome natural peanut butter, honey, and then more sunflower seeds. Nice. <laughs> it was really good. All right, we're going to wrap our little paws before we bend our feet around. Smart. <laughs> so, okay, so for example, the elbow to the end of the wire right now, mine, is one and three quarters inches. But we want it to end up around one and a quarter inch. So we have a half an inch to play with to turn, to turn around to make the little paw. So again, with a thin strip of four inch alabaster, I've just been starting at the top of the arm because I feel like it's easier to anchor it and, um, you know, Ooh, have a consistent, the whole arm? yeah. It's just, it's just a thin strip, so yeah. it's not a great distance, so it just makes sense to... And then keep, like, I'm drafting it out because I want him to have a little pause. Not so I'm going to zoom here. I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm going to come down to see how small and tight I'm wrapping. So really small. And when I get to the end of the wire, I'm going to turn that half inch, like I was saying, into a little loop. And then I'm going to continue wrapping. Keep going the same direction. It's kind of a reverse of direction because you just turn the wire around, but just keep wrapping in the direction that's comfortable to you. And then you can start to shape your little hand. Okay. All 
I don't want to go back up the arm. We want to keep the arm nice and skinny for now. And just keep smoothing until all your fiber is gone. So like just that last fringy edge. Will the arm get any other treatment? Yeah. Well, not the foot. Okay. I'm looking for my, somewhere in here, I have a 40 gauge, there it is. Half inch turn? Yeah. Well, ultimately you want from the elbow to the end of the hand to be about an inch and a quarter. I wonder how many how many of you are watching and how many of you are felting. <laughs> if no one's felting, I'll. Well, Kyla's felting. Someone will be felting. Someone's in felting. Someone's amazed you can tell the needle gauge by just looking. <laughs> uh, the, the, 40, the 40 has the twist. That's the, the other ones I have to do by feel. We have some people felting. Okay, cool. I didn't get this one as smooth. I'll tell you something that's new. Um, I want to get everyone spinning. So a really simple way to do that is to start with the drop spindle if you haven't tried it already. So we are looking into um, drop spindles at the minimum, drop spindles, a nitty knotty, which is what you use to make your skein after you have spun your yarn, and maybe blending boards, which would give us a um, another option for creating bats and roll eggs from which to spin. So it's just a little step in that direction. I love spinning and I love using the yarn um, as embellished. I don't knit, so maybe you will actually crochet or knit and make something amazing. <laughs> but I just love using the yarn um, in all kinds of ways in embellishing 2D and 3D. And the actual process of spinning is um, very, very relaxing and really fun to see, to see happen. And if we get the blending boards, you know, blending fiber, creating roll legs, mm -hmm. you guys will have a, a lot of fun with that. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm thinking about like over the summer, we'll get those, those things in place. Um, to keep posted, I would do a couple of things. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, which will, YouTube will send notifications of scheduled posts. Also on our website, subscribe to the newsletter because we send a newsletter regarding um, any upcoming events, giveaways, sales. And if you use Facebook, our Facebook page is our professional we have a group Serafina felting fanfare and we have a facebook page Serafina fiber art and that's where we Serafina fiber art is where we put important kind of information that we want everyone to see so how are you doing great good 
All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the hind legs. Um, just trying to think. A little more fiber. Yeah, I'm not sure if I wanna, let me switch my notes here. I wrote, could wrap feet before bending. And then I wrote, do this. Do this. <laughs> Must. Okay. Yeah, let's use, let's do the same thing on the hind legs. And I'm just going to make sure I have maybe a slightly healthier piece of, of alabaster. so that I'm sure to get all the way. What is our final foot We want size? the foot to be also one and a quarter. on the turtle wouldn't you like to know <laughs> so I'm taking that I'm gonna do a little bit bigger loop here see if I can get a nice the foot can be a little bit more substantial Sometimes bending the toe like makes it look a little more like a little mm. a little crisscross wrap there. Kyla, do you have any jokes? I <laughs> I can barely keep up with this armature. <laughs> it's gonna be a very uh -huh. quiet felt along. <laughs> I mean, I could stop and talk. I let my foot wrap be. I'll check. Oh. Mouse proverbs. I'm glad that people are enjoying the proverbs. <laughs> I love the proverbs. Oh, we need to play the mouse. Oh, the mouse. Mouse game. in the show game. Could you repeat leg bend measurements? I bent this hawk at two inches and then I just used my thumb to make a round to make a round thigh and then this is about one and a quarter inches after it's wrapped and felted I might end up adding a little bit more fiber to his hind leg hind foot Oh, they don't know what the game is. Oh, okay. No, because they don't know. You didn't look any stuff up. We might have to ask Audrey to look stuff um, up. Well, they have never seen that game. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Right. It's, it's something to look forward to. Yes. We, then we, we can can't even it. talk about it. But we can play the game. Okay, so the game With was. Mice. I love mouse thighs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They are so cool because they like morph into the body. This very and and their little elbows sort of do that too. It kind of looks like their arms are coming out of their head. So the game would be mice in name the TV show or like movie, yeah. and then I have to name the mouse or no name the mouse, and then I have to name the movie. You have to name movie, or it could be book. Okay, so movie, show. book, or show, name a famous mouse, and then I have to try to say what the um, movie, book, or show is. So yeah, you guys could look one up. There is. If you 
Here's a 50 famous mouse names. Okay. But yes, the people could ask. Yeah. <laughs> Here's an example. I'll do an example. No. Okay. Guys asking how to clean. I just did it before we sat down. Can I have the scissors? Okay. They're open. Okay. The snips have little rubber rubber grips on them and they pull the fiber together. And I feel like it's a little gentler on the burlap than like a um you know, a comb or something. Oh, we have some Okay. question we have I'm assuming Topo Someone said Did mighty. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> What Here about? I come to save the day. Okay, this is a lot. Topo Gigio? <laughs> I don't know how you say it. But two people gave that one. <laughs> Stuart Little. I got Stuart Little, Mighty yeah. Mouse. How about Gus Gus? Gus Gus. That's Cinderella. Yes, you got it. Gus Gus. Um, Mr. Jingles. Ah, uh, I don't know Mr. Jingles. Does anybody else know Mr. Jingles? Oh, I'm doing my other leg. Gijo. I guess you say Gijo. Toto Gijo. Don't know that one. Oh, Five All. I know that one. I love Five All. I don't. <gasps> so good. An American Tale? No. Oh, I love Five All. There was a mouse in the Green Mile? Uh, yeah. Like the mouse that. Oh, in the pocket. Yeah. Is that the Toto. Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's Toto, who's Toto people Gino? Are, people are going to try to watch this tutorial and be like, mm, I think uh -huh. we're going to refill it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm at the end of my foot. I'm turning the wire around, making like slightly bigger loop than I did on my front feet. Audrey, are you looking up the Green Mile Mouse? Name? And then continuing to wrap. Uh, actually, yeah, I yeah. am. And that's Jingles. Oh, that's Jingles. Jingles. That's okay. right. I got mouse quotes too. Oh. Okay, Just good. In case, like Let's see. What was on Ed Sullivan? What about the secret of Nim? What were those Mises? Yeah. I mean, Mr. Brisby. And, yeah. Timmy's the sick one. Oh, Timmy was the sick one. I love that one, too. Yeah, that was a real, that was one of my favorite movies. You love American Tale, too, I think. Okay. I don't know how I have I never even heard of that. I don't know. It's Don Bluth, isn't it? It's another Don Bluth one. I don't know. We do not include diagrams in our instructional kits. We include quality videos quality like videos these. Videos like this. <laughs> Look oh, at that. Oh, Topa was an Ed Sullivan guest. Oh, it nice. already looks like a mouse. Oh, we forgot to put the tail on. We're gonna do that next. How's everybody doing out there? Do we all have feet, legs and feet? Reamy, how about Reamy? Itchy. I itchy look, and, itchy and it's like if I try to look at the chat and come in from out of nowhere, <laughs> It's total chaos. <laughs> really calming to watch. Good. I don't. I don't know if that's what we're getting. You're not feeling that. <laughs> oh, Remy was the little ratatouille guy, but he was he was a rat. I love ratatouille. Mm -hmm. You know what was weird was flushed away. Flushed away. Yes. It totally freaked my kids out. Okay, 
the tail, I'm jumping to the tail. So if you can pause for a second and absorb this, you want it to be four inches or longer. And then, so what I would do, and I haven't been folding it over because it gets a lot of wool um, on the end and I don't, I'm not worried about the, the end. Um, so I put four inches sticking out and then whatever's left, I just wrap in with the body. Yeah, four inches. I'm gonna guess and I have it coming. half of the people were still wrapping their feet. Yes, I'm gonna guess that too. And um, I have it coming up off the top, not out between the legs, off the top of the back. Really cheap. Thank you for noticing my haircut. <laughs> my kids didn't notice. I don't think anybody here said anything. I did. Audrey didn't. Well, you went with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> weird, yeah. uh, All right, there's a lot of mouse chat happening. There really are a lot of mice in a lot of movies and books. Yeah. That's a good... They all end up a little different, and I think that they're cute for different reasons. What? Mortimer? I didn't know Mortimer existed. I feel like there's something about the mouse face that still eludes Hard me. Hard to capture? Yeah. Did you know that Mickey Mouse had a rival? Uh, I don't remember it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Apparently that's Mortimer. Oh, wow. You're looking really healthy today, the art corner said. Oh, thank you. Uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Maybe that's where Sherlock Holmes... Wait, who's Sherlock Holmes in MSS? Sherlock Moriarty. Oh. <laughs> he stole it. Very close to Mortimer. I think Mortimer's from Redwall. You guys ever read that? Red no, Wall. what's that? Mm -hmm. Like was, a. It was like medieval, like Red. mice who live in a medieval castle with a bunch of other animals. Oh, really? Yeah. That's All cool. kinds of stories I'm missing. I'm going to wrap the tail in the same kind of strip of alabaster. So this breed of this species, I guess it's a species, I don't know if it's a breed or species, of mice is um, mates for life. Yes. Yeah. This was our monogamouse. Mm-hmm. Very punny. You could mate for life and not be monogamous. You could have more than one mate for life. Polygamous. <laughs> so just one wrap on the tail to the end. And you can, this, this, kind of mouse has a tail that is tan on top and white on the bottom, which we're gonna do, but you could leave your tail um, just alabaster if you wanted to. But I kinda like the way this turns out. How are you doing? Oh, fabulous. I have a floppy armature that I refuse to let you even look at. <laughs> Because I'm going to fix it <laughs> with fiber. <laughs> I 
Has anyone seen yeah, Sue? We're for Sue? Are we looking for Sue Bingham? Are we talking about a person or a movie? I think Sue Bingham, because mm. she's normally on... I thought, I thought she did say good morning earlier. Miss Bianca. No, I don't remember Miss mm. Bianca. This mouse is ready for some meat. Am I allowed to see it? Mm. Okay. Yes, I will hold it where it might be a problem. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, it looks good. It's a little floppy in the shoulders, but that's not going to be a problem. No, because they get so much yeah. wool. Because it waves right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How would you add the tail to the felted body if you forgot to add it to the armature? But we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's I, a previous mouse. Maybe just go hamster on that one. Yeah, just go. go. Um, I mean. It's, it's, it's always hard because then you're. You're like stabbing it in. Yeah, like, like I really in. like armatures to be well incorporated. Um, I mean, you could, if it was something just for you that, you know, you're going to sit on a shelf, I'm sure you could jab a wire in there. But um, without some surgery to anchor it, it might be a little, you know, maybe just held with wool or something. Miss Bianca was in The Rescuers. That ah, was a good one. that was a good one. Okay, we are going to wrap the head, chest, body with, I love this color. This is copper. And we have had a cinnamon shortage, if you uh, haven't noticed. <laughs> and <laughs> copper is a great um, substitute. In fact, I like it even better. It's a a little bit warmer and has this sort of variation in it. So let's take a four inch strip and split it in half lengthwise. And then we're gonna crisscross on the head. So. Do I bend the head? Sometimes I give okay. the head like a little bit of a bend. Okay. Like this way. Can you guys see that? Good. Yeah, it helps. Um, it helps sort of start to create the right shape versus leaving this wire oh. totally flat. Yeah, so just over your thumb, give it a little bit of a bend. But from the neck, you can use the diamond shape. So the crisscross is going to go from one facet over to the other and then under the chin and then from this side over to the other. So really whenever you're wrapping the control comes from the tightness and also controlling the width of the ribbon. Like as soon as you let that ribbon get wide or like or bumpy like you know, I'll just pull that, that stuff off because as you draft, you're going to end up with, with bumps. So really controlling the ribbon, controlling the wool. It takes a little bit of, it takes practice, but that is where you want to head. Because in the beginning, the wool can sort of control you. I did use that whole thing and I ended up about like that. Let's see. Okay. But your whole thing and my whole thing could have been two yeah, different my things. Head's weird. Ooh, scabbers. I don't know about scabbers. And then with the second piece, I'm gonna crisscross, but I'm gonna go, sorry about that, someone's outside. I'm gonna go around the back of the head over the nose. And so this crisscross is going to crisscross underneath 
and start filling that head in. So this is more like what we do on the bunny puffs and the chicks. We go over the nose. So now I'm looking at it from the side. And all the while I'm leaving that little pink nose sticking out. This one I'm not gonna use quite the whole thing. So I'll pass this over, Kyla, so you can see kind of the thickness. <clears throat> this I think would be, <clears throat> excuse me, hard for a beginner, <coughs> like a first time felter. Because a lot of the look of it depends on your ability to wrap well. <laughs> so the dog's barking at Milo. He's back in his bed now. Don't apologize for Milo cameos. <laughs> Milo can't help himself. Ricky Ticky Tavi. Okay, so now we want a six inch piece that we're gonna split in half and we'll do the chest and body. That was so funny. They're saying wool controls my computer mouse and <laughs> adds to the cart almost automatically. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the big fiber fairy is April 8th. Wait. Yeah. <gasps> That's in two weeks? Three. It's the 19th. I think it's three. We have two weeks of March left for well, sure. It's the 19th, it's about a month. Oh, oh, you mean the, right now it's the 19th? The eighth. <laughs> three weeks. Eight. So three weeks from Friday, three weeks from yesterday. That Could someone be. please look? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we have no access to calendars. I have a calendar. Okay, so. It's on the eighth? It's on the eighth. So, yeah, two weeks from this next Friday. Oh, okay. So, so three weeks. About three Okay, okay. So we're at the 26th is next week, then the 25th first. We're ready. We're ready. Yes. It's good. Yeah. And we will be um, donating 10% of the sales to Heifer International. And it's our biggest fiber fairy of the year. Um, it's going to be a good one. We have some good things planned. So I have half of a six-inch piece. The first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, well, I'll crisscross the chest first. So I'm going to start on the back, go around the, um, try to keep the width of the, um, of the back wires. Don't smush them together. And then I go over shoulder, under the opposite armpit, over the back, under the armpit, over the shoulder. And I'll do that again. So I go over this shoulder, across the chest, under the armpit, over the back, under the armpit, across the chest, over the shoulder. And then with your second six inch piece, go the rest of the body to the hind legs. Even that all up. Hey, the armature's not floppy anymore. Good. So we'll be live on Fiber Fairy Friday. Whoops, that's my 40. I don't think we'll be live. 
again before that, although I am planning a 2D demo uh, yes. um, later in April. A Saturday or Friday? I'll, mm, I'll probably do a weekday. We have not been um, open on Saturdays or working on Saturdays. So um, like, so to be live for Thought to Long, we're, we're coming in. But um, so f for the demo, I'll probably do a Friday, I would think. The shoulder wrap, here's the thing, important I things. I did it up as a two. Michelle, I'm with you, but it what worked. You, you went over and under, you went over, but I started under. Okay. I did it. I mean, you just, right, you want to cross the chest. If you cross the chest and it's symmetrical, you're good. You do not want to wrap around a leg at any point. So if you end up wrapping around a leg, then something went wrong because the wrap is shoulder to armpit. It doesn't it doesn't go around any limbs. Um what will we be making on April 9th? We won't be live on the 9th. We have Fiber Fairy on the 8th. Fiber Fairy's on the Fiber Fairy Friday is on the 8th. We will be live. We on will not 8th. be making anything no, we will together on the 8th. Fiber Fairy Friday starts at midnight, 12.01 a.m. That's when the newsletter will come out with all the information. Um, we will go live probably at 10, 10 o'clock Eastern that yeah. day. Okay. You can order prior to us going live. Some people wait. Yeah. Some people get their order in. I mean, the, the newsletter and the description on the Facebook page are pretty thorough about mm -hmm. what the giveaway is. Mm -hmm. So I think you can order with confidence before we go live. Live is just to go chat, go a little deeper into what we're giving away and why, celebrate the day, um, you know, just have a good time, basically. Show the fiber in more detail. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, now I want to get a little bit on the upper legs. We have a couple more wraps to do on the body, but I think it would be helpful to cover up these skinny legs just a little bit. So let's take a four inch piece of um, copper and split it in half lengthwise. And then I always, I always give my fiber a tug. So I say four inches, but after I tug it, it's more like six. My mouse is looking like a brown lizard. Yes. A lumpy lizard. <laughs> so first I'm going to just go around the leg and we want to do a little bit of a, um, a crisscross here to make that mouse thigh that we like. So I'm around the upper thigh and then I'm going to jump down to the lower thigh and then back up. Leave some distance to the hock. Like leave a little bit of skinniness here. Don't take the copper all the way down to the to the foot. And then I'm just gonna go around and smooth that out. Around his leg again or uh, all around the leg, yeah. Okay. All around the leg, but just um trying to give them that that little bit of meatiness, you know what I mean? If you just straighten the leg out and go around, it just ends up looking like a log. So we're trying to, trying to give a little shape um, using a wrap to do so. And then I'm never as good on this side because I'm going a different way. Uh, this rusty brown is the Cop copper, the core. The nut is the... Um, this is the nut, is the merino. Merino top. So because um, if you have this, if you're getting a supply pack, 
um, it makes four, you could divide your fiber into four um, sections so that you know you're using the right amount for each for each mouse. When I felt these, I like to go from the inside of the thigh out and really try to flatten it out. How's yours looking? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this other side is awkward. Yeah, one of my sides is always better than the other side. A little stabbing and it's going to look great. Oh, there's none of this is in, Jean was asking about the original kit. The original kit, honestly, I haven't looked at it in a really long time, so I don't remember what's in there, but this is a different, um, different supplies. I mean, some of it will be the same, but. Um, the original kit would have had sandstone. I think it made a tan yeah. mouse. Yeah. All right, so we need to put another wrap on the body and it's gonna kind of make them fat and give them a little bit of that rounded mouse shape. So take, um, let's take an eight inch piece and take half, a little bit of a bigger piece. And give the body a curve and do a crisscross. So if I go around the butt, then I'm gonna, you want your overlap to be on the belly to start to build that up. So I'll go up by the, behind the front arms, crisscross under the belly around the butt. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And then that just builds him up a little bit. I feel like my body might be longer than yours. Which always happens. That always happens. You measure Why? from the arm to the I, end of the I, twist, right? I mean, in theory. You got another limo going on over I there? I hope not, but I'm going to compare. <laughs> that was one of your first things, was yeah, your, this is your mouse possibly limo. Possibly not going to be much better. <laughs> He's still hanging out around here somewhere. <laughs> He's like hanging on to, in someone's office. Yeah, no, you're okay. Uh -huh. So that other eight inch half, let's break that in half into four two four inch pieces. And then we're gonna go do this thing that goes, like I start on the body, go around the leg, and then return to the body. And that just brings all of this together. It makes, gives a little butt. I'll show you on the other side. Of course I did my good side first. It sort of like fills in this space here. So I start on the body. Well, let me do it right-handed. I start on the body, go around the leg, and then return to the body. Oh, that's bad. You see how bad I am right-handed? <laughs> I'm right-handed, and it's not great doing it right-handed. Just so you there know. we go. I haven't felt it a critter in a long time. Yeah. Now I'm starting to look a little mousy with their dumpy butt. Felting is really like the, one of the most satisfying things in the world. Everyone needs to know this.
let's really see the size difference. I swear he's longer. Oh, oh. I think he's longer. <laughs> no. He's good. You're like, what did you do? I I'm think just I looking. An arm. <laughs> just gonna cover that with some top coat. Yeah, <clears throat> no, he's good. He's great. You did a double diaper wrap. Yeah, that's sort of what this is. It does. It like makes a butt. It 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 pulls the hind legs together with everything. We need a little bit of fiber at the top of the front arms now. So I'm going to take a four inch piece and split it in half. This might be a bit much. Did I say four inches? That's more like three. And we're going to do the same thing. You start on the body, go around the leg to the elbow and return to the body. So I'm starting over top. I'll probably go down twice. and then return to the body. My ribbon got a little bit wide. There we go. <laughs> the gnome has a diaper wrap. They're talking about which one. Yeah, I yeah. remember the diaper on the gnome. The gnome got like butt cheeks and everything. How long is the arm? To the elbow should be three quarters of an inch and from the elbow to the foot should be about an inch and a quarter. Hmm. Well, we wrapped some, yeah, so. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little different. You don't have to use all, I'm pulling about an inch off of that fiber. You never have to use the whole piece, or you might have to add more. It's just a guideline. Hopefully you have something that looks like this. <laughs> Hopefully you're all still with me. I think we just answered that. Okay. Yeah. Because <clears throat> your wooden needle holder pulled more than one. Yeah. I have two. It can, oh, there's, <laughs> there's like nips, nips stuck on there. Um, it can actually hold three equally spaced or two. Um, or one, you could hold one if you want it. Mm -hmm. This is the, the cherry, the cherry tool. The top unscrews, and then they just come up out of there. All right, we're ready to do the face. So we're gonna do the face, yeah. And then the pelt and the tail. Wow, I know. the face. So the face, there's some shapes. There's things that I kind of did a little differently on each one. Um, let's see, I'm gonna give you some nut and some Jen Jen tan. Mm -hmm. Love Jen Jen Tan. I love it. You'll also start to see, just kind of jumping around to something mm. that's new, that the house carded bats are in roving form. Um, this is helping us greatly, and it's very exciting because now we can make more things. So um, Talbot has been 
re-photographing everything. It's exactly the same fiber, but um, it's going to be in, an, in a nice fluffy roving. Yeah. All of our house carded will be yeah. that way, right? Except for the landscape um, bats. Landscape bats. I think that's it. There might be a couple of things that can't be roving. Um, take a thin strip of about two inches of Gen Gen Tan, just a little bit. And this is going to be tough and we might not totally be able to do it. But if you can wrap from the pink, where the pink and the copper meet, the reason it's tough is because it's, it's at an angle. And so the wool will want to slip off. But if you could get just a few wraps around there, get some tan on there, um, and help make that transition, that would be good. I tried to leave the pink, but it got covered up. So I can add more if I need to, but. If you can't do that, it's fine. We're gonna be putting some shapes on the face and we can put throw a little, just throw a little bit of tan on there. Lots of opportunities to make this uh, look right. And lots of ways to get there. Okay, I think um, the face ace is real handy here because we're gonna make a few little shapes to make cheeks and forehead. I think I made the cheeks in Serafina white actually. Here's some of that for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So with about a three inch strip of Serafina white, about like that. Okay. Sort of half an inch, half an inch wide, if you were to push the fiber together. In the middle of the facies, we want to make like an inch wide pillow two, three, I'm just counting how many times I'm going around, four, five, yeah, about six times around. Do that two times. So I'm using the center of the face ace and making about an inch wide pillow. Oh my gosh, that's my phone. Who didn't turn off the, I can't believe it didn't make a noise until now. And then do the same thing with copper, with a strip of copper. Two also? Uh, just one. Just one? Yeah. This is gonna be the forehead. So check if you have, this always happens to me, and it's not just the, the shape of the face ace, it's the way I wrap. I'll have one end that's a little more abrupt and one end that's a little more tapered. I want the abrupt end towards the back of the head and the tapered end towards the nose, and I'm just going on the side of the face here. We do this on the basket bunny, and I'm letting the end taper right up to the nose and they really don't have much of a neck, so I'm always like, don't put your shapes on the neck. But in this case, you are taking this shape right up to the back of the head, almost to the shoulder. <laughs> so for now, just get it stuck onto the side of the face. We are gonna put a little chin and a forehead and that'll be his whole mousy self. I 
I think I'm going to bring up a, a picture so I can start to see where I'm headed here. Images. Oh my gosh, so cute. You looked up specifically Old Field. I did, Mouse. yeah. <laughs> sometimes it seems like they have like a little muzzle, and sometimes it seems like they don't. So it's hard to know. Maybe I can sort of sort of play with it. I'm gonna keep it very, very tapered and skinny towards the nose because they definitely have pointy little noses. In white, another little white strip, about three inches. We wanna make a chin. And um, I think I'll do that also in the middle, but I'm just gonna go straight around one, two, three, like four times. We don't want as big, let's not make it a big pillow. We're just making a nice flat shape on here. Slide it off and then stab the end into a round chin by stabbing it in on itself a little bit. Somebody said I'm going to have to cover the blood. Oh no, Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. The the cheeks and the forehead are all made with was it about a four three to four inch four inch um, four by I half think, inch. I think the white cheeks were three more like a three inch strip. Yeah. And the I went around six times on the middle of the faces. So I stabbed the round part of my chin like one side into a ghost and I left the other side fringy and that's just going to go underneath um, in between these cheeks. And it's okay if there's a little line, we're going to cover that up. How close up to the nose? Um, give them, let them have a, their nose like sticks out over there. So a bit of a underbite. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cute. He's getting cute. You always make things cute. cute. Yes. Okay. And then we had that copper piece and we want this to go on top of the head. Really don't let it get real chunky on top of the nose. Let this tapered edge just come down to the nose. And most of the chunk goes all the way back like to be between the front arms. Oh, really? I don't know. Do you have a picture up? Between the front arms. Well, I mean, like onto their, what would be their neck, but they don't have a okay. neck. Yeah. But don't pull it that way, but it'll okay. fall, it'll fall there. These pieces are a little bit, like they're kind of distinct, which is okay, but try to discourage it. Like try to, you know, try to fringe edges out a little bit and smoosh them down. Like don't in encourage it by stabbing on the lines and making them more prominent. What? Pictures. Yeah, they are cute. I'm gonna put a little bit of Serafina. Well, that'll get under the pelt. Maybe I'll wait until the pelt is on. How did I do this? Under pelt, over pelt. 
All right, let's do the pelts and then Yeah, I did the ears after. Okay. Let's see. A little hamster. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> okay, let's make some pelts, and that will show us where we're heading a little bit, a little bit better. So we're gonna do an under pelt. And I just used Serafina White, and it's about three inches by four inches. Slightly wider at the bottom than the top. And just make sure it's very even. And then I put one piece, um, one strip vertically so that builds the belly up a little bit and holds everything in place and you can hit this with a punch tool so the fibers are just going across i've got it slightly wider at the bottom and it's about four inches tall and about three inches wide Thing. Yeah, just get it get it all together a little bit. Not too too much because we gotta felt it on too. And then this goes spread them out like he got squished. <laughs> and this goes you want it to go all the way on the thighs and it can even go under the chin and cheek and blend all of that together. And it encompasses the upper legs and the upper arms. So it really is covering everything. For now, just tack it on like that. And then when we put the top on, we'll really see how we want to shape everything. But I'm stabbing it into the thigh wrap that we did and I'm stabbing it into the upper arm wrap that we did two twenty two isn't that crazy <laughs> that's when we I glanced at the clock at 11 11 this morning. Yes. You. Yes. Has it, have you been doing that now too? So we've got this white belly on. Oh, the next part's really fun. The pelt pelt. <laughs> I call it the over pelt. The upper pelt. This is the under pelt. Yeah. This is what brings it all together and makes them look mousy. All right. Looks like a flying squirrel right now. So I made this out of tan with copper and nut mix mm -hmm. so we want to make this about four inches by three and a half inches do you need more tan i don't know maybe four inches wide yes by three and a half tall yeah approximately just a little bit bigger than the okay. than the other one Okay. And then I took copper and nut and mixed it together because I thought that made a really cool color.
You could just use nut if you wanted. I keep getting the um, almond joy. <laughs> Sometimes you yeah. Sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. I never understood why mounds didn't have nuts because that didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Considering it's called mounds? Yeah, like it's because it should have the lumps. And then this mix we want to put over Gen Gen Tan. I'm gonna stab it the other way a little bit so that the tan goes through. Right, and then after the fiber fairy, sheep and wool will be here before we know it. I don't know what's happening in March. Yeah. It's just February. <laughs> I mean, I realize that's how the calendar goes, but it's going fast. Felt to enter, do, 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 leaving. Oh, I did go up around the sides. Okay, so with the white, just bring it around, but don't like make it really tight. Like keep this. Okay. So it's not total fringe sticking out anymore, but I didn't, I tried to keep some of this skin going on here. Like I didn't, don't pull it into this dip. Like let it be kind of triangle shaped. Like that. And then this goes on, goes up the head, goes on to the front arms, goes on to the top legs, just like the white one, except from the top. And then you can decide, um, I'm just going to let it wrap over. Some of them, you know, you see the white on the sides more, so you could add white back. Uh, but I kind of like the way this blends. On the head, I'm just letting it blend over the nose and into the cheeks and then we can tweak colors as we want Kind of if it has a ton okay but they they kind of get this like this sort of from their shoulder to their elbow is like a triangle okay so if you can kind of make that triangle with the fiber 
then you do that. And on the butt, just stab it up against the butt. Gen Gen Tan, will you restock soon? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what the Gen Gen. Oh, um, Gnome Nude. It has some Gnome Nude oh, in does it. it. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. So um, I'm not exactly sure on the timing, but hopefully, hopefully it won't be too much longer. We're we're uh, managing like a kind of industry wide shortage issue, but uh, I think it's getting sorted out. I don't want to commit to the head. <laughs> so right now he's like wearing a hood. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's time to commit. So, yeah, it's time to commit. So just let it smooth all that stuff out. Right. And if there's too much, if you're not yeah. sure, pull it off. Pull some off. I think what confuses me on the mice is their little eyes like they look huge and then I'm like no they're not huge on these guys they're pretty big and I would say they're halfway between the ears and the nose pretty even so not like back on the head sort of down right right where the um on each side where the copper is meeting the white. So it takes, um, you know, it takes looking at a picture <laughs> and trying to tweak, tweak from there. I think what mine needs is two tiny little um i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use alabaster maybe alabaster mixed with white two little poofs on each side of the nose here you <laughs> look at your face i thought he was pretty good I, no, he is good <laughs> he is he was looking at me funny he came over like, <laughs> like some sort of mole that my cats. I need to cover his little. He's angry because he has that yeah. seam. Yes, yes. That's this needs problem. to get white across yeah. it. He's got a little old man face going on right now. But yeah, same thing. So tuck, pinch your chin, narrow. Get the white, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help, and then yes, I think you need the little you need the little poofs okay. too. It's very delicate, and then your eyes, and then the other thing was he got like a he's just loose here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So that I will make see, him look more mousy, and then your this is gonna be adorable, and then your eyes are gonna go right about there. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna mix. Let's see. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna mix alabaster, Serafina white and tan see what happens because i can't just because i can't decide which color it should be so we mix it all together we don't have to decide does anyone have any questions or are they just chatting amongst themselves it's very quiet um, yeah right now they're kind of talking to each other okay they're talking. <laughs> everybody's i'm just background noise Tan, alabaster, and seraphina white. Okay. And then I just need like tiny little, I'm not even going to make a shape. I'm just going to take a little tiny poof and see what happens when I stab it. Just a poof, no shape. Yeah. I know. It's 
better. I use the reverse needle a lot on these two, mm. which was fun. Do you have an actual shop or is it all online? We, we, we do have a shop. Um, well, we used to have a shop, but you still could come visit and shop, but uh, we're just not open with regular hours anymore. And the shop, you shop in the shipping you area. shop in the shipping area in the storage area but um in the production area because the shop is now a workspace what was the store How's it going? I mean, I'm watching you. Yeah. It's starting to be a little mouse. You sure it's starting to be a little mouse? Yeah. <laughs> it's mousy, possibly hamstery. Here's some black. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Unsuccessful pass. Okay. We need little eyes. I'm going to take little thin two-inch strips. It's probably too much. I'm going to wrap on the very end of the face ace just to get um, a shape going here but be aware of the oval eye if you wrap on the face ace when you pull it off you want to make sure you make it into a circle don't let it become a long oval it'll look like an alien And another way to help with that is by stabbing in on the edges. So I'm really stabbing at all the edges to get this eye embedded. And I'm not gonna do too much before I stop and take a look, make sure it's in the right place. Oh, it looks huge. Yeah, my, mine's pretty huge. It's like half of its face. Okay, too much? Yeah. I think too much. I think I took some Gen Gen Tan, just a little bit of it, and went put the middle of it right under the eye and then fold it over and let it floof out on the cheek. Okay. Nose to base of a tail. Nose to base of a tail. Alrighty. One second. Did you see this step, Kyla? Yeah. I'm just making a simple taco of tan over the cheek. Yeah. And then we're going to reverse needle the heck out of it. Get everything floofy and blendy. I don't think I put brows on these guys. You could if you need to encompass your eye a little bit more.
Measurement from nose to tail tip. Eight and a half inches. Yes, yes, thank you. I don't want to speak too soon, but he's actually eight and a half inches. Wow. I know. That alone feels like an accomplishment. Look at us. <laughs> it's so cute you talking to yours yet is yours cute yet I, I don't know if he's there yet he could probably use the encouragement though I'm blending some um, nut and tan okay. just to pull the head and cheek together a little bit but reverse needle could do this too, but I'm just making another another color. Well, I should probably wait until the ears are on. I'll wait until the ears are on and see what's what. Because I've got a few places where I'm not sure about the color changes. <laughs> she's all right I mean, she's yes oh my gosh he's so cute okay ears ears is alabaster and you want to make um a crisscross so i'm gonna use an inch and i'm gonna go like make an X basically this way. So two of those, cause we're making two ears. Like one layer, crisscross, so two layers. Two layers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we just felt the heck out of it. Well, we're gonna felt it a bit and then turn it over and put a little bit of color on the back. Okay. I like to get a little bit of, see how they have a little okay. bit of um, tan on the back. Well, it doesn't matter which side you consider the back. But the crisscross helps hold the structure. So I'm actually going to use that nut tan mix that I just made and put it at the tip of the ear. And maybe a little bit of a little bit of tan. And then we're just going to cut these. Okay. So we want the the colored end. This end you can leave a little bit of fringe, but the top end you really and the sides you really want to felt well. Keep picking it up and moving it so you mm -hmm. don't rip a hole in your static. Yeah, move it around. It's such a habit now. I like. I don't even. Yeah. Okay. I think the best way to do it is to put them together, so you know you're getting the same size, and then just. Kind of going for that Pope shape house. 
rounded house. <laughs> you leave the bottom. Leave, yeah, don't touch the bottom. If you're a perfectionist, you would use the grab and stab and really make go it. in at all the edges. And then the ears are going to go slightly, a little bit, a little bit too much fuzz. I'm wondering if that's a little bit big. I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller. Have scissors. So I just give it like a little bit of curve, like pinch the bottom together a little bit. And then we'll probably need to mix some copper and nut to go back sure. over the head, yeah. Because you don't want the ears touching at the top. Like you want forehead in between them. You know what I mean? You also don't want them right on top of the eye. <laughs> My mouse keeps getting into a flying position. How's everybody doing out there? We're very focused on our projects here. I like his kind of big ears. All right, I'm going to mix a little bit of fiber. Oh, I still have some. looks kind of mouse-like if you let some come up from the face on onto the ear or like kind of like it would be going in it so some from the front of the ear and then some onto the back of the ear I wonder how many people are still working and keeping up. Because I am, I've abandoned several parts that I oh, know okay. I still need to work on. Yeah. Um, just to follow your directions. Right. Which is fine. And when it's a tutorial, people can pause it. Yep. And rewind it. I never get my ears the same. Ears are like almost at the shoulder. You want to see? Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. I'll see what's going on here. Yeah, almost. 
I took the no neck thing very seriously. I've been looking at my mouse pictures and not, <laughs> not at the chat. Keeping up with notes. That's fun. Could you hold his face up? Okay. Yes. Not sure where to find glass eyes, but I'm sure other people will chime in. Where's his face? I'm going to do reverse needle. I'm going to do white dots. Probably a little more definition around the mouth and nose. I think this needs to be real skinny right here. What's that? Like, right at the very. Like, as you're coming towards the nose, but not. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to describe. So, white dots are teeny tiny bit of Serafina white. And my 40 gauge. Probably even too much. I'm going to split that in half. I like this one. <laughs> We've lost a lot of helpers. Oh no. <laughs> They're saying, I'm just watching now. Uh, okay. It's, um, yeah, it's like when I have a workshop here. I'm not felting probably two thirds of the time, uh -huh. but if we made a video like that, no one, no one would want to watch our video. So, mm. I mean, he looks like a mouse, so that's a bonus. That's good. <laughs> First step. It's like when you were little and you showed your parent your paint, your drawing, you know, and they're like, oh, nice, you know, nice dog. And you're like, it's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so the reverse needle is really fun. And mine is right here. It can, because we have copper underneath, we can... Oh boy, we can reverse out, um, and we can reverse out on the face to get to get things blended. But you can also go on the pelt and kind of like brush with it, and you can leave them furry like that. Uh oh. Sometimes the reverse needle gets stuck on your oh, yeah. wires. Please give tips on the white dot. I always smash the eye trying to get it in. Yeah, definitely use a finer, a 40 or a 42. If you use your stronger needle, then it is going to felt the eye into a different into a different shape. So I, I make sure that I have my my twist. And I just um, just stab the white, and and don't overstab it. Like get it get it in there and then stop. When will the kit be available? Someone asks. Yeah, I think the kit. Um, I think it shouldn't be too long. We have we have to see where we are with the Gen Gen Tan. Mm -hmm. Um, that would be the that would be the hold up, but hopefully in the next few weeks. Oh, that looks cute. Look, I reversed. I reversed like around his little. Oh, nice.
going to have to play with that needle a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do the tail. You want to play with that a little bit? Sure. You know, there's a lot beyond these steps of fussing and tweaking that you can do. Um, I definitely need to stab my feet a little more. Um, I might do a wrap in alabaster to make the hock a little more substantial. So that would be a crisscross that we do exaggerate the fold and then I keep hearing noises yes yeah, so there's a truck oh, oh okay and that'll make his foot just a little more a little more substantial I like to use the um, 40 gauge when I'm on these skinny little feet. So that just builds up that hock a little bit. I'll do this one. Because as it is, it's pretty, pretty skinny. Can you compare your old mice to your new mice? Yes. Oh, old mice like original? Oh, or? oh, I don't even have an old mouse. Is that what they mean? I think so. The old mouse was bigger. It was on 14 gauge wire, which is too, because we were trying to do the fingers. It was just huge. And and not as, not, I you know, I rarely go for like super realism, but definitely not as realistic as these are. And it was like one of our first tutorials. So I was wearing some weird pants. I, I looked at the video this morning and I said to Audrey, I was like, what are those pants? I totally don't remember, remember these them? pants I had on. And um, no, but we didn't have the, the techniques, the tools, different fiber. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it was, uh, it's always good to update because some of our stuff is out, outdated. And I learn, oh my gosh, I've learned so much since we made that mouse. <laughs> I feel like it's this. What is going on here? Do they have more? No, I've got that. I don't know. Okay, so on the tail, I did tan on top and Serafina white on the bottom. So I went like this. I stood him up. I said, stand up. You know, I should make sure to make two other mice with what we have here to make sure mm -hmm. that. And I just put tan going across. Just little, I'm sure this is not super easy to see on the tan stab it. Little pieces going across. Give that a stab into the wrapped wire. I see I have a skinny spot here. Jen, Jen, tan. Mm -hmm. So just going down along each side of the wrapped wire. Okay. 
Then, ruh -roh. That one stuck to the stab it more than the wire. There we go. Okay. So we've got that floof on there. Then turn it over and do the same thing with Serafina White on the bottom. This is a fun detail. Are these your own techniques or where do you find this? These, everything that I, well, every once in a while I learn something from you all, um, for sure. But when I started making tutorials, it was because I, there was not much out there and I had taught myself pretty much everything I knew about um, armatures and wool and techniques and just started, started sharing them. And, you know, there's so much out there. There's so much to learn. There's so many ways even to arrive at the same end. Um, so I, you know, all I ever do is share the way I do it and, you know, what I've sort of figured out or come to, but um, I see some things some things that other people are making and I think, how did they do that? Or, you know, I wonder how they achieved that. And so there's just a lot of ways to do different things. And some are just about what works for you and your brain, you know, or the way that you like to work. So I always wrap from body to, you know, extremity tip <laughs> and like Talbot, for example, likes to wrap from the tip mm. up which I can't I, I can't even fathom <laughs> how is it even possible so just going to go back and forth on this a little bit to make sure it's all well embedded because um, you know there's not a ton of area to felt into that that skinny wire but you can see that how the white came through which is kind of cool All right, and when I'm sure that it's all stuck, then I cut it. <laughs> and I just cut it into narrow, narrow at the tip and slightly wider towards the body. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you kind of brush it. Or you could like roll it in your hand a little bit. So it could be quite thin. Like you could make it still a skinny little um, You're making it skinny dish. It's not super skinny. Okay. You could go tighter. Your little mouse could go to the barber and be like, I want it high and tight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you say when you go to the barber? I, maybe. In the mouse voice, it's key. <laughs> My son was telling a story about something that I said, and he used like an old man voice. What? <laughs> I, was, oh, I, don't even, I don't sound like that. Change your voice. He had just been telling a story using an old man voice, so maybe he just forgot. Oh my gosh. It's like, that doesn't sound like me. But I didn't really like his mom voice either that he tried, so. 
Was it me? <laughs> <I> remember. <laughs> Just surely I didn't sound like yeah, that. Right. I like my mouse. He's looking at the camera. I'm almost there. How's your mouse? Ish. Okay, but I haven't finished the tail. I'm going between the face and the tail. <laughs> Can you guys hear Kyla like frantically stabbing? I'm trying to like make it presentable. <laughs> Eyeless, just now watching. I, you know, at two hours, it's kind of like I hit a, I hit a, it's like my, it's like my, my body knows it's been two hours. If your mouse isn't done, good luck. <laughs> I, his ears might be whack, but. Let's see. Should we put him put him in the put him in the picture? Oh yeah, let's put him by yours. <laughs> His tail's not quite right. Oh, he's cute. Mm -hmm. You got the eyes. You always get your cheeks so cute. <laughs> Look, they're best friends. Oh, they're hugging. They are. They're mates. Australian mates. <laughs> All right, I think we can go, unless anyone needs to see anything in the overhead. Go Does anyone need to see anything in the overhead? Is Trish asking me that? Are you asking me <laughs> that? Sometimes I do, because sometimes I get home, well, especially, so Sundays are like my, my sad lonely day <laughs> no Sundays are usually pretty quiet and so I'm like I wonder what happened while I was felting and I do I like to go back and see the chat and it's always very funny and it makes me really happy how um everybody's engaging and having a good time someone asked to see a side view yeah Maybe the full this is Kyla's side view her right side is no he's very cute and this is my side view and i will probably mess with blending and stuff a little bit more a little wide i love your little wide cheeks some of them did have yeah wider here you're dying to have him back i can tell I, I think let me stab I'm, him some more i'm gonna like <laughs> super over stab him So I'm looking forward to seeing your mice. Lots of mice. I'll keep you posted on the supply pack, but hopefully, I mean, really, you could use a variety of colors. You could even make the entire mouse out of off-white chunky core or any other neutral core that you have. Um, fair could work on the where we used alabaster, any gray, white, tan, mm -hmm. you know, could work on the on the body. So it could be a lot of different things, but and I bet they don't even weigh an ounce. Yeah, it's not a ton of yeah. flavor. So um that's a fun project. Is that you, or is you, are you reading that's something? Me. No, that's me. I mean, I think I might be sweating, but we're good. They are cute. So thank you all for being here. It's lovely. And thank you for participating in uh, the Fiber Fairy, if you did. You missed it. Aw. That's friends. <laughs> Get that balance. They do get a little like, 
there's a little wire override with the wool because um sweating you know what i mean I'm because not, i'm not actually sweating i'm good Just a little <laughs> um because they because of the 22 gauge wire like you can't really like he couldn't like look over his shoulder <laughs> He's sort of, sort of stuck, but that's okay. What do you think about whiskers? Someone said something. Yeah. You could whisker him. Yeah, you could whisker him. Wow, I haven't whiskered anything in a long time. Yeah, they'd be cute. Nice. That was fun. Thanks for letting me make one. Yeah, I'm glad you could. And I think this one, I think I just used um, tan. Okay. Yeah, he's not a starch. And what's that? That looks like wheat, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or caramel. Yeah, so different colors. And I got his tan I got his tail skinnier. My maybe um, I'll go skinnier. Reference on pictures the tail. had a lot of white and like white right. with little gray streaks and Right. There's a ton ton of yeah. options. Yeah, I think I'll get a little more white going on down here. Or reverse it out. It's like mm -hmm. it's too Needs a more blending. So, whiskers add a lot. <laughs> Fun. So, are we good? Does anybody have any more questions? All right. Thank you, everybody. That was fun. Um, we will. Well, we'll be in touch. We'll. Pro I'm. Ho I don't know if we'll see you live before the fiber fairy, but that's in three weeks. We determined. <laughs> After one, consulting a one, calendar. One, two, three. <laughs> The third Friday from now? Mm hmm Okay. So I'm really looking forward to that um, because it's going to be a big day, a special day. And I hope wherever you are, um, the weather is wonderful and you're enjoying all the things around you. I just trimmed um, daffodils this morning for the first time. Oh, that's so, fun. Yeah. Somebody said it was, it nice. was raining in Hawaii and Maui, but I didn't feel bad for them. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, aw. <laughs> so sad <laughs> <laughs> um so anyway thank you for joining us and looking forward to